shaking. I, I couldn't even keep it on. So yesterday on the way here, we decided to leave a day earlier than planned, and luckily we did, because we got two flats. First one just blew, then we replaced it. Second one blew, and blew a hole in the floor of the trailer. And we had to run to town, get new tires, get back on the road. So it took us about nine hours instead of six or seven. But we're here now, we're out looking around, getting ready for opening day tomorrow. I haven't seen a lot, saw a wild horse, had a really long tail and mane. I mean, you don't see domestic ones like that, it's dragging the ground. So, no sheep yet, but I'm hopeful we'll see at least one. I think in the morning, I kind of want to come back to this same area. One of the guys online and a friend of ours that we know hunted here with his dad last year, gave us some points, uh, kind of in this area up over the hill, there's a big ram that never got killed or we would have seen the score so i kind of want to focus on that area and see if we can relocate him because we have pictures of him from last year so we kind of know how he grows so my personal opinion is to kind of just hunt our way here in the morning and then hike up and glass that basin it was difficult to find a good campsite you drive around thinking you'll find a nice one with a tree but there are none this is all there is
How did I make it weird? What are you talking about? I was joking. I need to chill out. The only thing that made it weird was that guy's dog. I'm like, okay, see you guys. Then I just hear the dog scratching the side. It's dead silent. Delicate. And then it's like, good luck. And then we just sit there some more. And then finally they go, here, come here, Sophie. Yeah. Oh, Sophie's no. a bitch. <laughs> She was. She was. I'm pretty sure she was. <laughs> Me, Lee, and Levi come into this new area checking it out. Saw a little ram, a ewe, and then we come around the corner and saw a pretty good one. So we moved up on this point and started glassing, turned him up. He looks like he's like seven years old. Not really broomed, but heavy bases. Getting us excited. And then Wit calls. And on the other end of the unit, he found a group of six rams and two of them, he said are like nine or 10 years old. They're both the same age, he said, but one's like broomed way off, like old gnarly warrior type. And the other one still has his lamb tip, like he's all there. So things are starting to look up. Saw a good one here, two over there. Has he seen anything else? He saw some small rams, but He's, we're, he's seeing way more, so are we, than we have been. I think he saw a total of like seven rams over there so far, but six of them in one group and then one other, he said. Some ewes with the little one, but he said they were fighting, you could hear them cracking. He said that it's like a all day plan if you decide to go after him. Yeah. So okay. hopefully he's got some pictures, video, we'll have an idea. But. It, the way it's looking right now, we'll keep this one in our back pocket, keep looking for this evening, and then go look at his tomorrow. With the bow or rifle? Bow. Bow all the way. It's still only day one. down there so this upper one right there that looks like a really good ram that's the big one this is the big broomed off one i want the broomed one well and then so they all are all there's four there there's, there's so six of them. one two three four five six yeah i just comparing these medium ones compared to like the two medium ones we saw before yeah, looks, this how big but Those look how two heavy are big. they go back in oh, the three-quarter curl. You want to stand up oh. and you see their bodies? Oh yeah. Oh, they're big. Yeah. So then do they all power together. There's the brimmed one. These two are seem like the same class kind of, but look yeah. how much but this one Longer. I didn't ever got a very good picture of him because he but honestly his it like dropped way down low and I've heard Here's I got video of that one. It's a little better video than yours, so <laughs> you got a good video. <laughs> That's a big ram to me, it looks like. Yeah. But watch this turn. Oh yeah. You can see see those rings that's around there? That's a big there? ram. That, that's, that's this ram. bigger one might be him or maybe better. I don't know, yeah. you know. So. But he's that good. Yeah. Go oh look. yeah, yeah. And you, you have to look at it and see, I mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't know about a bow deal either, you know, like, but six yeah. of them together, it's like, you know, but. Uh, that's what we were talking, if we look at him and they're like, Bigger than we were expecting yeah. to get on this yeah. unit. Yeah. I might just take my gun. Oh, yeah. well, we'll see. You think they would have one? Yeah. That's why I figured it was Doyle.
day two of the hunt. Uh, we found some good rams last night, two of them. We're trying to relocate them. We hike up. They weren't where they we thought they would be, but Lee and Witt ended up finding them a bit further, but they're moving quick in the sun. The theory is that they're getting through the sun, trying to get to the north side, hopefully bed down. So now we're gonna have to move about a mile and a half, try and relocate them, decide if it's worth shooting. It was so far away, you can tell he's a big heavy ram, but we really don't know how big till we get over there. They just called, said that they peeked over that next ridge to the north and that those two rams are both in there and the one looks really, really big, but we don't know uh, how long he'll stick around because as soon as they peeked over it, it sounds like both the rams are looking at him now. So I don't know how long. How far away were they, did they say? Lee said not far. I said, did you get a good look at him yet? And he says, yeah, he's huge. That's the ones, they think? Yeah, it's the, the two ones. that come over right here earlier that we've been searching for. But I gotta put some things in my pack and head that way. walking. Wait, don't shoot. Damn it. Now they're 500 and something, probably. Shoot. Well, we had a failed attempt earlier. It was a little bit of a far shot, anyways, 480. But they spooked before we could get set up for a shot. 
they went through one ravine and they're headed up this steep face on the other side. So Wit's staying over here with the spotter, keeping an eye on them. Hopefully they bed over there. And I'm guessing it's around a three to four mile loop. We're gonna hike up and around and try and get above them. And hopefully we can see into that ravine. I think it's gonna, it's gonna be tricky, but we're trying to stay after that same ram. Decided it's worth it, so that's what we're doing. First one blew right through him. Perfect shot. You sure? Yep. Dead ram right there. Attaboy, Jesse. Good job. No, your first one blasted right through. Oh my him. gosh. Holy crap, man. Shaking the, I, I couldn't even keep it on. Dude. Man, I should be the cameraman more often. I got oh, that perfect gosh. camera shot. Yeah. That sneak worked perfect. We come around the top and I can see them both feeding away. We dropped around this corner. There's the hunters right there. Jesse just, Jesse just shot him a big old desert sheep. Pretty awesome. Jesse, Lee, and Levi. I was spotting for him. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking so much. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of hard work. Since we left Wit, we went two and a half. Plus the first walk, plus this morning when we first spotted him way away. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it, man. Oh my goodness, man. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Look at all this blood. 
It's a desert ram. Oh, crap. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Dude. That's a ram. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. Wow. Look at the bases on this thing. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's unbelievable. Good job, Jess. Thanks, man. I'm just kind of dumbfounded. Well, here we are, packing up, getting ready to leave. This has been a great experience. Uh, we saw a lot of sheep, and overall this hunt exceeded my expectations, far and beyond. I can't thank Lee, Levi, and Witt enough for all the help they gave me. We killed the ram, it was about six miles total that day to get him and get him out. And then we had to run him in to fish and game yesterday, where they permanently plugged him and swabbed his nose and took all the info they needed and now we're just packing up, getting ready to head out. Also, I just want to say thank you to everyone that helped me out. It wasn't just Lee, Levi, and Witt. There were guys on online forums like Monster Muleys, a guy with the lake tag coming up I'm hoping to share information with, as well as a friend of ours that was hunting here with his dad last year. All the information they gave us is very valuable in us having such a good experience out here, and I can't thank them enough.